the Power Hour. Welcome. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Saturday, and welcome to the 211th Power Hour. Over four years, every Saturday, with the exception of a few, we do the Power Hour. I do the Power Hour. Okay, spoiler alert, uh, I am not here. Uh, but I am, right? So it's Friday for me. I'm recording this because I'm probably or supposed to be on an airplane uh, that left at 10 o'clock this morning to get to San Francisco uh, eventually through uh, Phoenix, I believe. So uh, anyway, I, I can't usually, uh, I'm not very successful logging in from Wi-Fi on the airplane to the power hours. So I've got to record it ahead of time. But I have a really good uh presentation for you today. It's, uh, I think it's, it's superb. So anyway, there's that. And I want to, to step through it with you. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be about eights on pylons. Now we'll take a break about halfway through and I'll be able to, uh, to uh, share some things we're working on, that kind of thing. But in the meantime, I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot to cover here. So I think, uh, I'm in the group of the few who not only understand the history of this maneuver, but also, I technically understand it quite well. And uh, from that, um, I'm going to, uh, to be able to expand upon it. So I'm going to give you uh, what it is. And you've always heard, you've heard the rote level stuff for this, right? You've heard, uh, oh, there's this pivotal altitude thing, and you divide by 11.3, and, and, uh, and then there's a description of what to do if the pylon moves, if it's not pivoting. If, we'll get to what all this stuff means in a second. But you've heard all that before. But what you haven't heard is why all that happens, the whys, the geometry, a little bit of the physics behind it. Now, don't get carried away because we're not going to go crazy with the physics. <clears throat> we're going to do it all conceptually first. Now, at the very end of the presentation, I worked up the mathematics for a pivotal altitude, and uh, it will show you why you divide by 11.3 to get the answer. Uh, you don't have to participate. You know, you could just zone out on that if you want to, make a cup of coffee, you know, take a shot at something, you know. <laughs> Not whiskey, you know what I mean. All right, let's move step through this here a little bit. I put a lot of time into this one because I'm going to use this for our CFI class. So um, anyway, this is the everything you wanted to know really about eights on pylons, more than rote understanding. So um, this is going to be uh, very deep, okay? But initially, everybody is going to get this. So don't worry about the fact that uh, it's going to be technical later. Uh, at first, it's going to be pretty non-technical. It's going to be just about uh, how this thing looks like, why it looks like that, and so on and so forth, okay? So uh, bear with me. Now, you do have a um, copy of this presentation. It's in the chat. What you don't have this week, Mitchell, <laughs> if you're here, is there is no a wings credit for this week. We didn't get it in time. And then if you don't know or didn't know, FA had a little trouble with, or a lot of trouble, with their email servers. And so they weren't able to send out any emails until I did notice one or two of them go out today. So, But it was way too late uh, for us to get in on that. So uh, so anyway, there's going to be no wings credit for this time. Wah, 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 wah. But next time there will be. And I'll give you the topic for uh, next week as well. We'll be live from the CFI class in Palo Alto, California. we got a big old class there. I think we have... I think I want to say nine or ten in person, and we have three or four uh, online virtual. So anyway, that's going to be a big class, and you'll be able to see them next Saturday. And uh, say hello for a minute. And stick around for maybe an hour or so. Keep the room open so you can hear what a typical CFI class looks like if you're looking to do that kind of thing. And you can see how uh, we run a really tight ship, and uh, we understand the content very well. Okay, let's move on past this, and let's get going. So what is this? What is this maneuver, eights on pylons? So, uh, good question. It's a really